Hello everyone, this is Brett and thank you for tuning in. This is part two of September 2023 Vinyl Finds. This is going to be a big one. I'm going to be showing records, CDs, uh, a DVD as well. So um, before we get started, if you're new to my channel and have yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button and uh, turn on notifications and I look forward to interacting with you in the comments. If you did miss part one, that was kind of my birthday haul, so to speak. Uh, I'll leave a link for that in the description. So let's start things off with a new 2023 release. This is the latest album from Slow Dive, their fifth one and the second since they reunited. Everything is alive. I have just the black vinyl version. Um, Shoegaze, Dream Pop, an absolutely beautiful album from beginning to end. If you're unfamiliar with Slow Dive, uh, there's no bad place to um, to jump in on their catalog. All five albums are totally stellar, and this is definitely a contender for my year-end list, for sure. That is Slow Dive. Uh, next up, here's a reissue of the debut, the 1995 debut album from Bowery Electric, keeping in kind of a shoegaze uh, vibe here. This is a 2023 reissue on uh, on the Cranky label and it includes a bonus disc with the drop, um, the drop EP. So Bowery, Bowery Electric, hard to say. Um, they put out just three albums in their career and they started to get more electronic, a bit more uh, trip hop as the time went on, but this is the more noisy kind of shoegaze um, album there. So Bowery Electric, self-titled. Next up, some, we are in like peak time for reissues, so. Uh, the next two are from the uh, alternative Britpop, dream pop, shoegazy, the house of love. This is 1992's Babe Rainbow. Uh, this is a, a total favorite of mine in their catalog. Uh, opens up with You Don't Understand, which is, a, which is an absolutely stellar track. If you're unfamiliar with the house of love, uh, be sure to check that out. There's their debut that I have up there behind me. Um, and then with that being said, this originally came out in 92, and then um, Audience with the Mind from 1993. The song Hollow on here is really great. And they also reissued the Butterfly album as well. I just wasn't able to secure a copy of that quite yet. House of Love. Next up, here's a new album, 2023, uh, Public Image Lim Limited Pill. This is their new album, uh, End of World. This is a double record, 45 RPM. It's got a really nice gatefold. Um, two record set, as I mentioned, I think it's on red vinyl and you know it has really, really nice inner sleeves and lyrics. Yeah, red vinyl. Um, jury's still out on how I feel about this one. I need to give it some more time. I thought the bass playing is, is really, really good. Um, but I still need some time with this, so jury's still out. All right, here's another one, 2023, total top 10, uh, not even a contender. This is gonna be on my year-end list for sure. This is Morgan Wade, Psychopath. If you're unfamiliar with Morgan Wade, uh, country, Americana, I would say a cross between Jason Isbell and Casey Musgraves, uh, but a bit more grittier than Casey Musgraves lyrically. Um, catchy songs, dripping with nostalgic, lots of 80s um, references in the lyrics to like Dirty Dancing, Guns N' Roses, and some 90s references. There's a song called Alanis. Um, Sadler Vaden uh, uh, produced, I think, and played a lot of uh, instruments on this. Uh, he comes from Jason Isbell's band as well as Jimbo Hart, the bass player performs on this one. Um, you have Lee Nash from Sixpence and on the Richer on uh, backing vocals on some tracks as well. Um, recommended songs. There's a lot. The whole thing's great. 80s movie is a really catchy one. Um, I love how the bass doubles the vocal rhythm in that pre-chorus section. There's this little synth melody that kind of hints and doubles the big vocal hook. Um, Domino. Losers Look Like Me, Phantom Feelings, the title track, Was There Life Before There Was Us. Um, totally great. Um, Morgan Wade. With that being said, let's just go back to her 
technically her second album, but her, se her debut on a major label. This is Reckless. And this is the uh, deluxe edition, but includes a uh, an extra six songs on the second record, which has a cover of Suspicious Minds. But once again, um, wow. The opening track, Wilder Days, is one of the best songs I've heard in a long time. So if you uh, check out one song from this whole video, check out Wilder Days, uh, really great. And I look forward to more from Morgan Wade, but um, highly, highly recommended. All right, so moving along, REM reissues. This is Reveal, their 2001 album. Um, post this on Instagram, and as I said there, I think this is a, a totally underrated album in their catalog. It's got a lot of kind of Beach Boy-esque, Burt Bacharach kind of vibes to it. Uh, includes one of my favorite REM songs, Imitation of Life. But from beginning to end, um, I really enjoy this one, and I, and I always have since it's come out. Uh, this is these... Uh, this and Accelerate uh, just got reissued um, just a few weeks back. Uh, this was the album from 2008, their second to the last album. Living Well is the Best Revenge, Supernatural, Super Serious, um, Hollow Man. Um, not a fan of the closing track, I'm going to DJ. But other than that, I think this is a really solid album that also is, is underrated. So in the REM album campaign, we're just waiting for Up to come out, which I think is scheduled for either the end of this month or in November. Um, so yeah, long, out of print, hard to find, scarce albums are now back in print. Uh, next up, the soundtrack to John Carpenter's 1981 film, Escape from New York. This is a 2022 uh, reissue. I love the gatefold on this one. That great uh, uh, Carpenter movie from with Kurt Russell. This is a double LP, also on... Uh, on red vinyl and it has a lot of the little little um, what would you call them uh, spoken word clips taken from the movie that um, that are really really fun to hear in between the compositions but the soundtrack was done by uh, John Carpenter and Alan Howarth. Howarth great stuff as always so Escape from New York 2022 and this got reissued on the Silva screen music label uh, next up uh, oops Records falling. Sorry. Next up, this is uh, Tom York from Radiohead. This is the soundtrack to the 2018 film, a remake, Suspiria. And this one is done on the uh, inner sleeves on this are really nice, heavy weight. I love the attention to detail of the blue in the inside. And this is on pink vinyl. Two records. Um, I hadn't seen the remake until we watched it this past weekend. Um, I can't say that I recommended it. I found it to be just lackluster is the word I'll use. Uh, but the, mu the music was really great and the Tom York songs that you hear, um, uh, really, really good. So, Suspiria. All right, so here's a band, totally familiar with back when this came out in 1995, kind of a super group, if you can call it that, um, in the grunge world. You have Mike McCready from Pearl Jam. You have Lane Staley from Alice in Chains. Um, Barrett Martin from Screaming Trees. And John Baker Saunders, um, later of The Walkabout. So this is Mad Season. The one and only album. Uh, the song that was popular at the time that this came out was River of Deceit. And I, I have to admit, I've never listened to this album before. Uh, this reissue came out in 2013. And what's extra cool about it is it includes three um, Mark Lanigan vocal tracks as bonus material for the um, never released second album that was to be recorded. Of course, Lane Staley has um, has passed, so has um, John Baker Saunders. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward. I still haven't listened to this, but uh, it's a two record set. And this one is just on black vinyl as well. So looking forward to that mad season above. All right, next up, I have a little batch of uh, some CDs and DVDs. Let's start with the DVD. Uh, Killing Joke, 25th Gathering. This came out back in 2000, oh my God, was it 2005? Yeah, I think it was 2005. So a, uh, yeah, it says right here, sorry. Live at Shepherd's Bush Empire, London 2005. It's got War Dance, uh, Requiem. Uh, just some great stuff. So I think this was uh, a tour for the 
self-titled album with the clown on the cover. So anyways, looking forward to that. I got that for just a couple of dollars. Uh, next up, uh, Living Color Time's Up. I had this cassette back when it came out. This was uh, their second album, which came out in 1990. Um, Type, Elvis is Dead, Pride, Love Rears Its Ugly Head. Uh, yeah, kill, uh, Living Color. And also, I need to replace this case, but um, this is Living Color's third album, Stain. This came out in 1993. Also picked up, uh, if you missed the big fe double feature we did on, um, on the Smashing Pumpkins on the channel, be sure to check those out. But um, I went ahead and found a used copy of Billy Corgan's uh, solo album under William Patrick Corgan or WPC, Ogi Lala. Um, really like this a lot. Um, the song The Spaniards was an immediate, um, immediate standout produced by Rick Rubin. But seriously, this whole thing was enjoyable. I liked it a lot more than I expected to like it. And so it's already gotten uh, a few repeat listens. So if you're unfamiliar with it, Ogi Lala from uh, Billy Corgan. All right, last up. This one is, it has an uh, interesting backstory. So when I was in high school, my friend um, uh, was, his brother-in-law was the guitar player from Flotsam and Jetsam, you know, being here in Arizona. And uh, he had given me this cassette tape, a promo cassette tape from uh, 1990 here. That includes the songs The Master Sleeps, Suffer the Masses, and Scars. And back then in high school, I made this little cassette, <laughs> little cover for it with the track titles on it. And uh, when I ended up going over to uh, Michael Gilbert, the guitar player's uh, house at the time, I was going to take a guitar lesson from him. It, it didn't end up happening. But And then years later, I was working at a recording studio and Flotsam would uh, come in and rehearse and record there. So it was pretty cool. So. I ended up finding a, uh, a used copy of the corresponding album, When the Storm Comes Down. Uh, surprisingly, the Flotsam stuff, the later stuff, early stuff, I should say, it's kind of hard to find, even here in Arizona. So um, I saw that there was a copy available over here at, um, at the, a chain in Phoenix called Zia Records and uh, grabbed it. So yeah, Suffer the Masses, Master Sleeps, uh, great tracks. So there is my September 2023 part two haul. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I will be back soon.